Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to the BTOsports.com Bottom Line Show. Here we are, round 12, Paula. And I'll be honest, we don't have a whole hell of a lot this week, but you should still check it out and get a few laughs. Welcome to the BTOsports.com Bottom Line Show. Here we are at Paula National, round 12 of the, of the races. And uh, it's really early Saturday morning. I think it's going to be a fantastic day of racing. We're going to see the 250F battle come down to the wire. Stick around on the BTOsports.com Bottom Line Show. We'll give it to you this week. Oh, man, it's early Saturday morning. I'm tired. Are you tired of drinking it? I'm drinking a Coke. Right. Caffeine and stuff. Hey, uh, a big day for you today, championship uh, uh, weekend. Do you think, how, I can, how do you think you're going to do? Like, I see yourself maybe passing for the, passing Purcell at some point, but then maybe tipping over? Huh? All right, Jeremy Albrecht, actually working here, former mechanic to the stars. Uh, J-Bone, who do you want to win this title, Pur Purcell or Kennard? Kennard. Why is that? I like him. Nice guy. It's great analysis we get here in the JGR Yamaha truck. We're out. Oh, yeah. What do you, well, you think is going to happen? I don't know. I, I hope it's like Talladega Nights where we like flip and then we run to the finish line. Right, right. Just goes over and over yep, and over. Yep. Um, I think a second moto today, maybe you'll slowly just ride around in third place and win the title. Do you foresee that? Is that something? Um, All right, still in the pits here, uh, Beaker from Fox, uh, Trey Kennard. Christoph Purcell, big battle today going in. Uh, who are you looking for? Who are you cheering for? Man, I really like that Christoph guy. Purcell? Yes. Yeah, I think Purcell, yeah, Purcell. This, what kind of gear does Trey Canard wear? Fox. But oh, you like Purcell? Yeah. There's something weird going on here in the pits, folks. I almost crash. I know that. You do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yep. And, uh... There's uh, two Pro Circuit Kawasaki's in front, uh -huh. and it looks looks like Eli Tomac behind me. Okay. Yeah. Alex Ewing, JGR Yamaha, Nick Paluzzi's mechanic now. Uh, who, Trey Kennard, Christoph Purcell going on the wire. Do you have a favorite? Purcell. And w really, why is that? Love French food. Here we go, folks. It's not all about the rider. Sometimes it's about the country's food. Yeah, phenomenal. Uh, it's 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 uh, it's early Saturday morning, so I mean we don't really know what's going to happen, but that's what it seems like. And then you're going to end the day probably drinking a Coke as the 2010 250 National Motocross Champion. Do you think that that's probably what's going to go on? Well, I mean right right now it feels like that, but I mean. But it's not. It's in the morning right now. Real early. There you have it, folks. Report from early in the morning. <laughs> Further taking the temperature of the pits here in the Canard Purcell battle. Uh, Ma'am, who are you looking for to win this title? I'm going for the French guy. Yeah, you just think he's pretty good? Yeah, he's really good, and he's been through a lot. And... Uh, okay. This is the last show of the year here at Paula, and uh, I want to thank our sponsor, BTOsports.com, for coming on. And for the last time, I don't like commercials, you don't like commercials, but pay attention to this commercial and buy some stuff. Otherwise, this show might not come back next year. Uh, wait. It's going to come back if you buy some stuff. I found a couple of journalists in the sport who are going to help me with the show today. And uh, I'll be honest, we don't have a whole lot. We have some best of. We have some highlights from today's Apollo's race. We have a few other things. Uh, we have Jason Wygant, Steve Cox, Jason Wygant, what did you think about today? Well, it's 6.30 in the morning on uh, Saturday, so uh, if by today you mean like uh, how do the mountains look with the sun starting to rise behind them, a little bit of fog in the air, awesome day. Steve Cox, uh, what's your take on the day's action that is coming up very shortly? Right, because it hasn't happened yet. Exactly. Um, it's going to be awesome, and I usually do wake up this dirty early in the morning. Like, I don't get dirty, like, through a whole day of working or something. It's usually, like, 6.30 in the morning. I'm completely filthy, like this. All right, he's dirty like Aguilera. Check it out. Monster Tom, Cowie PR guy. Uh, last week, I talked about the Pulpamex Fantasy Football League with Beaker. Uh, I understand 
you're a little upset. Yeah, I was just uh, just looking for equal time. You know what? Whether the email came out or not, it really doesn't. Oh, do we need we need to take care of the, our sponsors? Yeah. Man, you think a PR guy would know that? Yeah. Okay, so but a little equal time for the fantasy football. You know, Beaker, the email came out one way, but the draft was set up. It was easy to see that you had to get three starting receivers. So you know what? That's who you draft. So you're 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 on my side. I wouldn't say I'm on your side, <laughs> but you are correct in this, Commissioner. There we go, folks. Pulp MX Fantasy Football League dominating the talk here at the last round of the AMA Nationals. Look who we found in the pits. Factory team Yamaha manager Jimmy Perry. Jimmy, uh, you were my boss for three years. We worked together. There's a little memories of Mathis segment. Um, what kind of things like do you think of when you think about me working under your tutelage? Well, uh, I don't know that there were memories as much as they were nightmares. Oh. But in all seriousness, he was a very clean mechanic, very thorough. Um, stayed till the very end to get the job done. You know, just uh, mm -hmm. a hardworking type of guy. You know, the person yeah. that uh, should have won many championships, but just uh, the cards didn't fall his way. Do you, do you need me to pay you now, or do you want to pay you later? Uh, uh, later. Yeah, later. All right. Thanks, folks. Uh, there you have it. Jimmy Perry, Memories of Mathis. All right, the man of the day, Tim Ferry, found him in the pits. Uh, shocker, I was in the Cowie truck, you're in the Cowie truck. Timmy, uh, on your lap of champions today, can I ride on the back? No. Okay, can I pit board you? I think all these answers are going to be no. Oh, oh, it's just, work on your apple? Yeah, I, I got work to do. So. He's got work to do. Go ahead. <laughs> what? You got you have an Apple go work, You got an Apple computer from Cowie as a retirement? Is it I work on Nick Wade's bike right now? So. <laughs> He's gonna do it. <laughs> hey, and and who says Cowie didn't care about you? Uh, can I cheer you on? Um if you just keep it to yourself. Ah uh, no, no. That won't work either. This really hurts after everything I've done for you. This really hurts. You know what? My bike never broke at this race when you were my mechanic. So There you go, folks. Memories of Mathis again. We could not do a uh, segment today about where his bike broke because it never did. We're out. All right, look who we found here in the pits at Paula, uh, none other than Geico Honda, Brett Metcalf. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, uh, thoughts about this uh, facility first time out? Man, it looks amazing. Um, yeah, I got to do press day Thursday, but um, I haven't been here for a couple months. And I, you know, came out for mm -hmm. a few practice sessions over the past year, or whatever, a uh, couple of years. But uh, man, the transition they've made is insane. Uh, just how much work they put in. I'd hate to imagine the hours totaled up. So, right. you know, it's impressive. I'm, uh, you know, stoked that this is um, close to my house. It's kind of my home national. So it's good that it's uh, looking good right now. Right. Uh, obviously, you've been on fire all summer. You're the hot property for next year in the pits. Uh, what's going on with that? Um, I've heard numerous rumors, uh, people just breaking open the checkbook. <laughs> no, the checkbooks are no, pretty slim, <laughs> but um, you know, that's, and that's not saying anything, it's just the way the, the whole economy is right now. Mm -hmm. So you know, I've got some things going, but uh, I can't release anything yet, so it's um, you know, just so, okay, so waiting for next, next week. <laughs> okay, so you've got stuff done? No, nothing's done. Nothing's done. All right. Well, very, hey, very, very, very. What, what do you make about your uh, your CR22 Twitter buddy, fellow countryman, um, just laughing and putting out those ridiculous tweets? What's he saying? Laughing? Well, he's got himself riding bikes that you can't tell which they are, trying sets of different gear. Um, I saw the tweets on the different gear and and uh, the Ducati. You think it's possible he's lost his mind? I think he already did. Yeah. And then maybe he's, I don't know what he's doing. Right, right. Down there in Florida, man. Yeah. Uh, hey, we have some some passerbys. Uh, Tim Ferry, uh, come over here for a second. We're talking about silly season with Brett Metcalf right now. And uh, since you seem to know so much and are so smart, what could Metcalf command on an open market right now with his riding? Money. Anything. Um, hot tub in his motorhome. Yeah. Hot tub in his motorhome. Would you settle for a hot tub in your motorhome? Yeah, I would. If someone offered me that, I would definitely do the hot tub in the motorhome thing. Uh -huh. There you have it, folks. It seems like Brett Metcalf, despite getting second in the outdoor series, can really only get a hot tub in his motorhome. That's where he draws the line. So let's see what happens next year. But what happens at Texas? It's too hot. Well, I know. I'm with you. Hot tub in a motorhome, bud. Yeah, I could be your agent. We're out. You can't even see the light, dude. I'm blinded. Hey, uh, here we are. Pala, Jason, Jason Wygant. Recap of the day. Hey, um, Great day today. Two live motos on speed. This is it. Round 12. It's dark. We're the only show, losers in the pits. What show is this? Uh, this is the BTOSports.com bottom line show.
And uh, you've been at the races all year. Yeah, yeah, I have. You should have said what's up. Why would you not even say hi? Yeah, I, I know. You, I know you've never. I know. Yeah, I know you've never been on it very much. You no. don't know much about it. Hmm. Um, great day today of racing. I really thought that Tyler Rattray's ride was the story of the day. Two two. Right, fantastic. I mean, we didn't really have much else going on. Rattray's ride, phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Andrew Short and Brett Metcalf battling for second and third. That was huge. Dean right. Wilson and uh, Ryan Dungia. Yeah. Right. It was okay. Yeah. It was okay. Sipes was good. Chisholm was good. Good My day for the Moto Concept. Michael Lessie was what, 8 DNF, I think? No, 821. I mean, oh. the, the subplots for today were phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. And the key is that that's all in the past tense because the day is now over. And uh, I was actually leaving, and I was talking to my wife on the cell phone, and yep. now this has happened. This show has started. We're at the point in this show right now, it is late. We need help. I need help every week, but we really need help right now. But no, for reals, yeah, Trey yeah. Kennard won. Yeah, and I would have to say, out of all the scenarios that everyone had coming into this race, did anyone predict that one? A certain redhead from Florida, who's now retired, called it called that Porcello crash out of the first moto. Absolutely. He knows. No. He is everything. Really? No. Yeah, it's not possible. Even John Dowd has a beard. I don't get that joke still. Right. Even though I've never been on your show that happened at Southwick on a show that I don't know ever existed. How was Emig in the booth today? It was solid. I will say this. Last week at Steel City, right before the race, and they had come and the race laps out here on a 250F. And he said there is a double that is deceiving. Very difficult to get over on a 250 because of the silt before it. It's very hard to get a drive, and the landing has a lot of holes in it. That was the double jump that led to Christoph Porcel's undoing. I'm not kidding. This was predicted seven days ago in Still City. Sweet Jesus, he's a soothsayer. He also said at round one at Hangtown, you guys really need to get some B-roll footage of Eli Tomac. I think he might do well today. And then at Red Buddy, he said, hey, Porcel was able to put 50 points in the field in the first half of the year. Someone could easily gain 50 points back on him in the second half. Well, folks, welcome to the Jeff Hemmick Show here. Uh, late at night, he's not here to celebrate himself, but we're just apparently celebrating for him. Uh, other things that caught your eye, um, did you notice Timmy Ferry? Of course, it comes back to him. You notice Tim Ferry wearing the Trey Kennard Championship T-shirt? Did he actually? He did. Oh, is he a part of that? How much credit does Timmy get for this title uh, out of 100% being the most? And I would say 99. So basically between most of the credit and all of the credit, which where do we where, do, where does he go in there? Choices? Yeah, I'd say can you split like 99.999 now? Like how close can we split it to 100? Oh no 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 wait, it's Canard. We are on a 200% scale. There we go. Yeah, perfect. So it's about half. Uh, fantastic year. Bottom line, show. Thank you for your help. Uh, we've clearly run out of ideas here at Pala. We had grab you when you're leaving, but it doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Yeah, but where's Barry Carson? I mean, the only reason I ever agreed to your show is because you said you would give me access and not once this year. I didn't see Bad Barry today. Didn't see Bad Barry all year. I'm very hurt. My man Jay Law didn't represent Jersey either. Well, folks, clearly the show is going downhill, and, uh, and we're going to sign out after this. And uh, Still there? Thank you for watching all year. Thank you to BTOsports.com. Thank you to Teen Wolf for being my camera. Thank you for Matt Francis for helping out. Thank you for everybody letting me go. And uh, hopefully we'll be back next year. I didn't see it all year. Bye. 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 See you guys. No. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Hi, I'm Steve Mathis. Welcome to the Bottom Line, BTOsports.com Bottom Line Show. Here we are, last round of Paula. Things are very exciting. We're gonna ask, we're gonna take a pit. Hole in the pits. Welcome to the BTOsports.com Bottom Line Show. Here we are, early Saturday morning at Paula. Sun is not even out yet. It's been a fantastic. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Okay, I'll let